Hello everyone, my name is Sophie and welcome back to the brand new expansion pack Return to Dragon Island and we wrote or we were sailing we were sailing with Eret's boat and we ended up here and we have Eret How in the world did 2D get here before us? That dragon must have missed you a whole lot How could I ever have trapped these amazing creatures? Oh, it's kind of cute It's time to round up a pirate Could you let me see that map for a second? All right, click on me. I'll take you to the X. All right, let me just get this in full screen. There we go, better resolution. And then uh, talk to Eric. All right, click on Eric and follow him. Whoa, whoa, okay. Eric is fast. He is very good. I like him. Oh, this isn't right. What's wrong with that map? Hang on. I saw Fizzlix fly to the other side of the island as we made our approach. Maybe he knows why the map is so dodgy. Dodgy, talk to Fizzlix. 2D, let's go! Yay, my dragon missed me so much, he came here before us. That's kind of cute. Goodbye, Arid. <laughs> Didn't even look back, just goodbye. I'm going. Going to Fizzlix. Meet luck, I can see. Hey guys, how is your gaming? Everything cool? Yes, yes. Of course, I have you with the map. Uh, let me see. Based on the paper, I'd say this map is two, maybe three hundred years old. It's not accurate anymore because the landscapes has changed over those years. You're at the right spot according to the map, but the land around you has changed. The map is made. The map is made out of these giant pieces of solid rock that are thousands of miles across, called tectonic plates. Oh, the world is made on these giant plates, tectonic plates. There's super hot rock called magma in the center of the earth that consistently push against these plates. This can lead to earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. It even causes the land to move. You should you should know that on a daily basis, but there can be significant shifts over thousands of years. When multiple te tectonic plates meet, they can act in unique ways based on the direction they're moving and how compact they are. Because there are so many volcanoes in the area, I think that we're near a convergent boundary. Where two tectonic plates are moving towards each other. When tectonic plates converge, the smaller, less compact plate is pushed under the heavier plate, resulting in the constant shrinking, shrink, shrinking of the smaller plate. We might be experiencing the effect of a shifting cor shifting current carrying and shrinking right now. According to the map, the X is on the beach, but it might look a lot different now than it does on the map. Look for the X. Look for the X. X marks the spot. How am I supposed to find that? Well, I know where it is. It's the place we caught him the first time. Aaron is here. Hey Aaron, how's it going? Hello Silver! Nice to see you again! I'll be back in a second! Okay! Take care! I will. Sorry. Whoa, I passed it actually. I'm coming back! Okay! That's cool! Oh, here it is. In the water. My goodness, this beach is completely submerged. We must be on the less dense plate. This map is useless to us. How are we going to find Harold? Oh, Thor, it's Leopold, Harold's dragon. Quick, catch him before he gets away. Where's Leopold? Where's Leopold? There he is. Oh, you are not gonna do that. I will follow you. Where did you go? Come on, 2D, you have to be able to fly faster than this. This is slow. Sleep too Did you sleep too much? He must have. Oh, you're so close. I think I saw him drop something. It's a long shot, but maybe it could lead us to Harold? Can you fly down into the valley and find it? It's right there. Thank you. Great! Could you please bring this grab of paper to me? I'd like to find out where that scoundrel has gone to. Oh, he's next to Arid. That's nice. Hello, Arid. Hello. Nice to see you again. Yes, okay, very nice. It says, the deal is off. I have a new buyer. You wouldn't get any more dragon teeth for me, you deadbeat traitor. Oh, dear. I guess we're all out of clues. 
Where are you, Silver? It's emergency. Talk to me. All right. Well, Tootie is angry, so I will just feed him until he is happy again. There you go. That should do it. All right. Talk to Ash. Over here. Over here. Run, 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 run. Something terrible has happened. Scholar, our friend and archaeologist is sick. Scholar? Scholar! Excuse me? Are you saying that the archaeologist's name is Scholar? Don't worry. Stromfly and I will stay here and keep an eye out for that pirate. You should hurry to Dragon's Head. He's specifically asked to talk to you. Scalder. You're trying to tell me that my Arky, my friend Arky, is called Scalder. Scalder. Well, let's go find Scalder. Because that's his name. Where is Scalder? Scald, I, 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 I can't possibly deal with this. Is he up here? What, what is he doing? What are you doing, archaeology team? Oh. Something tells me I should just have flown up here. What? You? Yeah, I should definitely just have flown. Mm. I should have flew, I should have flown. I, I, is flown even a word? I should have flied. Fly, flown. Flew, flew, fly. I should have been flying up there. Can I? I don't know. But wh where is he? What? Are you? Are you? Are you nuts? Come on. Is, it, is he on the top of this? Like, what are you trying to tell me right now? Like, are you, are you kidding me now? Alright, alright. I'll, I'll look, I'll look, I'll look. I'll look. Okay, so it definitely says that he is on this one. It like it says it's he's inside of it. Oh, that is so nice, so nice. Wow, clubhouse. This gotta be new too. I've never been here. But oh my God, Scalder! <laughs> Why is your name Scalder, Scalder? I know that's a disease in itself. God damn it. <laughs> okay, time to destroy my throat with his voice. My dear friend, I apologize for my runny nose and terrible cough. I have faced almost every strange dearth and eration known to Vikings, and this one will not defeat me. I must speak to you about this fuck. Alright. Well. I lost track of time on a dick side. I was out there in the fuck for too long. I fell violently ill. I have never seen or experienced anything like this before. We need to figure out why this fuck made me sick. Can you speak to Heather and look for a scientific way to resolve this mystery? Talk to Heather. Well, I love Heather, so... That's just great. Can Heather be in the clubhouse too, maybe? And no, Heather does not want to be in the clubhouse. Alright, talk to Heather, talk to Heather about the fuck. She's over here. Why is she young here? Wasn't she supposed to look different like the others that grow older? I don't know anymore. I think Scholar is right about that fuck because it's definitely not just water and air. Why does it make Vikings sick? And why aren't the dragons affected? Organisms have adaptations to help them survive the type of environment they live in. Over the years, dragons must have adapted to survive in this park. That's why their bodies can handle it while Vikings get nauseous. Hiccup and I are consistently making new upgrades to the lab that we will allow to test fantastic scientific theories together. We've been working on a way to test the chemical composition of gases by analyzing the colors of light. I think this might be the perfect time to use that device. Will you bring Hiccup up to speed up on the situation? Wow, that's a lot of information. 2D? 
Why are you invincible, 2D? Wow, this is just fabulous. Great job. Great job. Great! I've been looking for a chance to debut my spectrometer. Spectrometer. It's a device that can measure the properties of light. Light is one of the forms of energy, and light we can see is called the visible spectrum. This light is made of the color of the visible spectrum that hasn't been absorbed by any object. For instance, Stormfly is blue because her scales absorb all the colors of the spectrum other than blue. We shine a light through a gas when we ref refract or separate that light. That way we can see which part of the spectrum is absorbed by the material. That tells us what that gas is made out of. I have everything ready to go except for one final piece. The prism that will refra refract the light. J Johan was supposed to bring me one in his latest shipment. Alright, talk to Johan. And my dragon is non-existing. Oh my god, that looks so wrong. I have never tried this before. Hello, perfectly normal, don't ask. Master Hiccup's prism! I have it right here! Carefully wrapped in the finest silks. I'm sure I will appreciate the presentation and the craftsmanship of the prism. Where did I get that you ask? Well, it is a wonderful story full of tragedy and betrayal. There was sailing along the twin tooth fjords when a ship of the size of a hammerhead whale suddenly appeared along my starboard bow. I didn't know what to do and yes, just that's nice. Thank you. All right, have a nice day. You should get away from your arm before he talks your ears off. Hika must be eagerly awaiting that prism. All right, I'm gone. I'm flying on my invisible dragon. Because that's normal. Oh my god, that's terrible. If you want to get- yes, I'm sure I want to get- Excellent! This prism will separate the wavelengths of light and show all the colors of light. Just like a rainbow does. It will get the spectrometer ready for the lab. Can you ask Heather if she has the gas ready to go? Fine, I'll talk to Heather. Because I love Heather. I would like to get my dragon back, thank you very much. Yes, I got the canisters of gas ready to go. Usually he got pasties filled with silver by gas for his dragon blade, but we have a wide assortment of gases to test for the lab. You see, we want to know the chemical composition of the mysterious fog. If we put it through the spectrometer, it will show us where on the visible spectrum the fog emits, but we don't know what that matches. We need a baseline result to calibrate the spectrometer so that we can recognize the chemical structure when we test the fog. Thanks for setting up the lab, Hiccup. I'm excited to put the spectrum to good use. Let's go inside! Great lab work. My favorite! Why is 2D sitting out there at that point? You okay, 2D? Yes, 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 yes. At least he's back. That's something. The spectrometer might look intimidating, but it's real simple. The lens will focus the sunlight through the material. Drag the oxygen into the spectrometer. The oxygen within the spectrometer will absorb some of the light that will enter the prism. Hit the spectrometer. All right, go to the. Click to record your observations. Wow, that's like green. All, all except green, not not green color, but all the others. More or less. Reset. Let's move to the next task. Place the hydrogen. Okay, hydrogen. And heat it. Wow, that's different kind of light. Click the reset button. Place the border and heat it. Okay. Wow! The spectrum for water seems to match the colors of both oxygen and hydrogen. That's because water is made out of hydrogen and oxygen. This means that some objects can be made out of multiple elements, and each element will show you out show up on the spectrometer. With that in mind, reset the lab and finish testing the rest of the items in your experiment. Okay, okay, thank you. Alright, next one is sulfur. Heat it. Okay, kinda looks the same, you know. He said. Place the copper. Copper. Oh, wow. It's a whole lot of color. Now we can go out. Wow! Hey, Cub, you really outdid yourself this time. The spectrometer worked perfectly. Now we know the colors of some common elements. The next step is to test the fog with the spectrometer to figure out if it has the same color as any of these gases. 
All right, I guess we'll talk to you again. Now we, that we can analyze what gases are made out of, we can approach this problem scientifically. You'll need to go back into the fog, but I have something that might help you avoid falling ill out there. What did I get? I got two cloth masks! If you put that around your nose and mouth, it might filter out some of the toxins. We'll need something airtight to get a sample of the fog. I bet Hiccup will be able to help you with that. Well, I'm gonna put that thing on my face. Wow, I look cool! I look like a total gangster. Awesome, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, okay, talk to Hiccup about air trapping device. I do have something in my work. I created a contraption that helped me collect silverback, hideous silverback gas for the dragon blade. I call it the silverback bellows. That's how I captured the gas for the spectrometer in the lab. Be very careful with it near the ocean, but more importantly, be safe out there. Wow, silverback bellows. So I have to suck in this box? Okay. Great! Now I have all the tools we need to do! Now we have all the tools to do it! We can gather some samples of the bug for the lab. Remember to wear the bandana I gave you and fly out into the ocean fog. You should keep you from fainting like Bucket and Mulch. Alright, thank you, Heather. I love you so much. Fly up to the gaseous spots to get three samples of the bug. Oh, that's over here. Let's do that. Thank you. Because that makes sense, just like random gas. That's the narwhals? Yeah, I think that's the narwhals. Narwhals, narwhals. Alright, let's go here. Something's wrong. The smell of the fog is starting to get to you. Gas Lannister? Maybe you just need a place to catch your breath. Get out of the fog and land on the sea stack. Okay. Sounds so nice. Oh wow. Oh wow. Ah, ah, oh, oh. What happened? More invincible dragons? Take it easy, Silver. You had a close call, but you're safe now. Come talk to me when you're strong enough. I'm completely stoned from all that fog. I almost died. I'm glad you're feeling better. You passed out in the fog, but 2D rescued you and flew to the school. You've definitely trained this one well. Oh, thank you. We are good friends. It's probably a good idea for all of us to steer clear of that fog until we figure out a solution. Please give me whatever sandwich you managed to get. Give the gas canister to Heather. Yes, take it. Yes, yeah. yeah, it's full! Both of you did very well. I hope we can answer some of our questions with this box sample. I'll get the spectrometer ready for you. I'll get the spectrometer ready for you before we start. I'd love to know your hypothesis. Hypothesis. What do you think this strange box is made out of? Great, now we have to make a hypothesis. Hypothesis. I think that the fog is made out of copper and oxygen. I think that the fog is made out of strange new substance that we have never seen before. I think the fog is made out of carbon and oxygen. I think the fog is made out of sulfur and oxygen. All right, all right. I'm no physics or chemistry expert, but I'm pretty sure it's not copper and oxygen because that's not damaging to your body. Something we've never seen before? Could be carbon and oxygen. I'm not sure carbon is that damaging to your body as well. Sulfur... Sulfur might just be like the gas that kind of... You know, I, I'm, I, I might be wrong, but either I'm, it's made of something we've never seen before, or it's carbon. I could be completely wrong, but I'm just gonna go with this one, okay? I'll just see what she says. Interesting choice, let's see. Because sulfur, I'm kind of in doubt what sulfur actually is. I think it's the one that has that really strong scent, but I could be wrong. Because that could be called something different. 
because I'm I, I went to school and they teach me Danish, so I don't know all the English words for all these different elements. Um, place the for example in the thing. All right, let's just see. All right, so I think oxygen definitely, and it looks like it does look like something we have seen before. So I don't know. The spectrometer showed the chemical composition of two separate elements, sulfur and oxygen. This means that the fog is made out of sulfur. So sulfur is the f isn't that the thing that comes from volcano, 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 lava and volcanoes, right? No wonder a Vikings are falling ill. It's a dangerous chemical that can result in dif difficulty breathing or even death. It usually comes out of volcanoes, but there aren't any active volcanoes as close to the school. We need to tell Hagop about the discovery. Please let him know, and please come back to me when you have the time. I have some exciting ideas that we can explore with the spectrometer. Oh my goodness. No, no, let me just be- Why does he vanish? It's so weird. There are a few volcanoes in the archipelago, but they're not so large that they could blanket the entire ocean with sulfur duxite. This discovery only raises more questions. We need more information. Great, but I can't see him. So now we actually do have to talk to Heather. Is that it? Fine, I will talk to Heather. But I will have to do it in the next episode. Because this one is getting pretty long. I'm trying to keep it kind of short. So I can get them out quicker for you guys to watch them. Um, so next one we're going to talk to Heather. And we're going to figure out what this... God damn gas is because we're gonna get to the bottom of this because that gas is dangerous I'm just telling you okay, so thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it. Sure leave a comment with anything you have to say and hopefully I'll see you in the next video So long dragon riders